DJ MTV. Hi guys, welcome to DJ MTV Daily News of the Joe One Stop Channel for everything news and news happening in Nigeria and all over the world. This is your first time of seeing any of our video. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you'll be one of the first persons to get notified whenever we drop any new video. Now let's take you straight. Palace agog as Oba of Bini welcomes quadruplets. Plus, crisis looms in Edo State. In May 2020, the Oba of Benin, Oba Ewaere II, welcomed his first prince since his ascension to the throne after coronation as the 40th Oba of Benin. Once again, the palace of the Oba of Benin is agog with celebration as it has been announced that the fifth and youngest queen in the household of the Oba of Benin, Queen Isosa Eware, has put to bed a set of quadruplets. Revealing the sex of the quadruplet, the Oba of Benin said it was three boys. The and announcement a girl. was made in the palace at about 5 p.m. on the 6th of August 2021 amidst jubilation and celebration by members of the Benin royal family and guests. In an official letter released by the Benin Traditional Council of the Oba of Benin, it says that by the grace of the Almighty God and the benevolence of our ancestors, the Benin Traditional Council, on behalf of His Royal Majesty, Omonoba no Ado Okwakwolokwolo, Obaeware the Second, the Oba of Benin, and the Royal Palace of Benin Kingdom, joyfully wish to announce the unprecedented and historical event that just occurred in the Benin royal family. The later further read that the palace of the Oba of Benin is delighted to announce that her royal highness Queen Isosai Ware of Benin Kingdom, the fifth and youngest queen, has been delivered of a set of quadruplets, three boys and a girl. Yes, quadruplets. The quadruplets and their mother are in excellent health. May the Lord God Almighty and our ancestors protect mother and the quadruplets in good health and bless them with long life. We congratulate our beautiful, elegant and amiable Queen, Her Royal Highness Queen Isosa Ewari for a safe delivery and pray that this happy occasion shall bring more blessings for her, for the palace and for the entire Benin Kingdom. A date for the naming ceremony will be announced later. A very warm and hearty congratulation to our highly revered royal father, His Royal Majesty, Omonoba no Edo Uka Polopolo Oba Eware II. The letter was signed by Chief Frank Irabo, who is the secretary of the Benin Traditional Council and was dated 6th of August 2021. The Oba of Benin Oba Eware II has thanked God and his ancestors for the blessing and also the priest of the Holy Arosa Church has offered prayers for the babies. According to the Benin Traditional Council, a date for the naming ceremony of the quadruplets will be announced uh, later. The birth of the quadruplet is being celebrated at the Palace of the Oba of Benin and the people of the Benin Kingdom, both home and abroad, are very elated that this unprecedented and historical event has taken place at their palace. Warm congratulatory messages have begun to pour in to the Palace of the Oba of Benin. In another development in Edo State, there has been a clash between the Ijo and Benin communities in the state. The Ijo's in Edo State have raised an alarm saying that several of their persons have been reported missing due to some communal clashes between the Obazua and Ikoro communities in Edo State, which has been lingering for a very long time. These communal clashes did not start today, especially between the Obazua and Ikoro communities. The Izoembi Dragnet and Ijo group in Edo State have issued a statement that Obazua, a Bidi community, attacked Ikoro, which is the headquarters of Olodiama, some few days ago. According to the Izoembi Dragnet, three youths and an elder was on their way back from Benin to Ikoro community. They have been identified as Edwin Ebakumo, who is 35 years old, Ayuba Kemepade, who is 28 years old, and Victor Laefa who is 70 years old, amongst others, were attacked and adopted by uh, unknown persons from the Obazua community. And the Zoebi dra Dragnet has said that there is fear for the lives of these persons because they've not been seen for a very long time. According to Bandua Itibeti, who is a spokesman of Izoembi Dragnet, in a statement noted that members of Ikoro community has been ambushed by Obazua community people and this has heightened tension between the communities as the Ijo's hands down 48 hours ultimatum to Obazua community 
to produce those that were adopted either dead or alive according to the Zoebi uh, dragnet statement they said that an eyewitness who escaped bullet wounds said they were returning from benin to ikoro upon getting to obazua community he was shocked that they were ambushed by youth of obazua community of Edo State who opened gunfire sporadically at them handing down a 48 hours ultimatum to the people of obazua community the Isoyimbi Dragnet has said that they are giving the Obazua community 48 hours to produce the members of Ikoro communities that were adopted either dead or alive before the expiration of the ultimatum or it was going to turn into a very very messy situation. As at the time of filing in this report, the police public relations officer of Edo State have not given any word or statement on the clash between the Obazua community and Ikoro community both in Edo State. But residents of both communities have said that they fear for their life as in such communal clashes it is usually the innocent ones that get stuck in the middle. While noting that the 48 hour ultimatum given by the Zoebi Dragnet group was not a threat and they hoped that something will be done about it quickly and pray that the government quickly intervenes in this particular issue. So there you have it guys, the Palace of the Oba of Bini is in wide celebration, not just for the birth of a child, but an uh, historic event as they call it. The first time a quadruplet, uh, a set of quadruplet is being birthed at the Palace of the Oba of Bini. The royal father is very elated, very happy, you know, he, he, he happily gave, gave the news, broke the news when he was receiving guests of the Immaculate Heart Conception and, you know, he told them the sex of the babies, three boys and a girl so it's a uh, former feathers to his crown uh, and um, the people of Benin city celebrate heartily with the royal father and his lovely wife queen esosa ewari but the clash between the ikoro and obazua community is trying to smear this happy and joyous occasion that is being experienced at the palace of the oba of Benin. so uh well-meaning nigerians especially in those state are calling on the governor of the state to ensure that the communal clash between the Koro community and the Bazwa community comes to an end, not just those two communities, but also every other community that are at uh, you know at logger ends with each other. They have prayed that the governor would uh, you know look for a lasting solution to these communal clashes. So once again, guys, a very big congratulations to the Oba of Bini, Oba Ewari the second and Queen Isosa Ewari. Why hoping that the government will do something about, you know, the 48-hour ultimatum given by the Zoebi Dragnet uh, when it has to do with the Ikoro community and the Obazua community, both in a dual state. So there you have it, guys. Uh, do not forget to drop your comment concerning these issues we brought you in the comment section. So much for staying with us till the end of this video. And please, if you are not subscribed, do so right now and turn on the notification bell. Go a step further, like and share this video. Do drop your comment in the comment section. And guess what, guys? Beginning from August 2021, you can now report yourself to the world via our channel here on DJM TV. So all you have to do is follow us on all our social media platforms, on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Also check out our website at www.djmtv. And to report yourself to the world, click on our bow and we'll give you more details on how to do that. So we'll come your way again. Do not forget, this is DJM TV Daily News Update. DJ TV. DJ TV. This fool of Liverpool doesn't know, they don't like us. Welcome to DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. Some of the delegates ask the question. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ